Hi, welcome to Coffee Query. My name is Zia and in this video tutorial I want to show you how to compress a file and then upload into server. In this tutorial I will uh, perform this five uh, operation check a file size, compress the file, convert blob to file, upload the file and then remove the file from the server. Okay, yeah, let's start. Let's start. Terminal uh, CD desktop mine and Laravel. I have created a Laravel project. If you uh, have problem with that, with creating a project and uh, Laravel project and the UGS in the front end, so please watch my previous videos. So I have covered the, uh, those uh, issue. Let me run my PHP artisan uh, artisan serve and run in PM server two PM run watch. And we will install a package called composer com sorry compressor gs let me run this i have installed this package already if you go to the sorry let me open with uh, this problem is because of my internet connection let me open the code yeah here if you go to the package.json mm, dependencies composer js version 111 is installed when you have a good internet connection so you you wouldn't have this problem which Let me check localhost, sorry, localhost 8000. So I had already tested this tutorial. And now I just want to repeat the process I had, I have done once. Create a new VUGS component, name it, upload file two dot view here I will have a template test go to the app the GS and just change upload file to now if I refresh the page I have this test here okay what I going to do I will create a script tag export default and here we have a data property then method yeah this is all that we need here uh, in here we have a uh, uh, what we need here we'll need a form b form Inside before we have an B input B form input, which is the type is file. 
how IT it's not um, yeah let's just take a simple HTML input okay I don't want to use bootstrap uh, file uh, tag okay so the next one we have a button we button upload okay and at click we'll call the function upload and here at change we call on change method okay and then the third element will be another button remove this button will remove our file from the server at click we will call remove okay let me create this three methods here um, change we get an event from the on change of uh, this input type is file what we do we will have a file here it's null and we store this event dot target dot file of zero and the second method is upload the third method is remove okay so check the file size first we when when you let me console dot lock file this dot file okay let me try it yeah this is our file okay this is our file the size the size is uh, three four one nine it's uh, it is it's not kilobyte i think it's byte three thousand byte means three uh 34 kb yeah it's around 34 kb okay so first what we do we check the file size in some case you don't want to upload uh, to compress every image the users upload them what do you do you check if the size uh, suppose uh, if the size is more than 2 mb or 1 mb then you compress and upload the file if the file is in KB sizes, you don't need to uh, compress that. You, you, you just upload that directly, okay? Here, inside upload. We have another method here. I just copied from my previous uh, video uh, is less than 2 MB we send the file first this dot F we check if this dot is less than 2 MB this dot file we send this file we send this file to this function then we check it here 
if the file file dot size means this size is divided by 1024 1024 which is converted to MB then we check if this less than 2 it means it's less than 2 MB then when we check the action here if it is true less than 2 MB then we upload uh, without compressing okay there's a file Uh, this is another function if the file size is less than 2 MB then we don't want to uh, compress the file we just return here okay otherwise if it is more than 2 MB what we do we uh, yeah here let me check here uh, import this once you installed the compressor you just need to import that then what we do we create a new uh, compressor class which accept the file um, and the second parameter is an object the object uh, the first property is quality quality is should be 0 0.2 okay and the second parameter we have success method which return a result Then we let me console the lock compressed result. Console dot um, console dot lock. Uh, original okay now let me check two files this is the file which is 3.4 KB just open and click upload original this is original okay this is the original file it means it's not going to it's uh, the 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 checking if it's it's less than 2 MB this condition is true okay then uh, if I uh, select another file 2 m 2.9 MB then what it do open let me upload mm. error and the on handler reference file is not defined where is that yeah this one this dot file if i select this more than 2 mb file upload yeah compressed The condition is false here okay and then the type is you see the type is blob if you upload the blob uh, type into your server you cannot 
uh, you can see the image but you cannot view the image okay that type should be file so the second step is we uh, that we do here we convert the result into a file const uh, my file is equal to new file new file okay let me copy this just right here okay they have done here const my file and we take this result the file uh, class tech three parameters one is the actual blob file as an array the second one is the name uh, the second para the third parameter is an object okay so what we then check uh, my file this blob should be file now yeah this is file let me check if it's compressed or not Mm, console dot lock original file desert file let me check or not return original is 28 compressed is compressed as 34 or 34 9 1 it's 30 349 kb okay 349 kb the original file size is 2.8 mb So if we take it to six, the original size is two point eight MB and the uh, uh, compressed size is seven. 196 kb 2.8 mb and 796 mb we we just take it to because we just compressing is done file is compressed and converted to file we just need to upload the file okay here inside the if the file is not uh, required to be compressed we just excuse dot post um, upload um, file slash API Okay, and here we append this file to uh, let if farm data if d is equal to new farm data 
if d dot append dot append to file the nom the name is file and content is this file okay then we pass this if d here then if we we get a response just console dot lock upload date response dot date if we get an error we cache that error right here response okay we just need to copy this whole thing right here after the file is compressed my file and now we need to create sorry it should be api slash upload file i have net i have called wrong api api slash upload file we will create this route right here yeah to post route request file upload file and post remove file these two api i have already created so there is a controller uh, i will create another new controller php artisan make controller uh, file controller 2 if you go to the app http controllers we have this controller and we create two function public function one is upload request request and the second one is public function remove okay uh, here first we check we write the try catch block here exception e we just return return response as json and e get message okay first we check uh, if request has file then we return file exist let me check this first uploaded successfully sorry for this 
my controller is file controller 2 choose a file global png and then upload yeah file exists file exist if the file exists what we do we get the file request file we get this file and then we get the name dot get client original name okay and then what we do file dot move public path inside public pub if a folder name is image if it exists and the file will be uploaded in uh, uh, inside but if it doesn't exist image images folder will be created okay and the uh, second parameter of move will be the file and uh, the file name Okay. Yeah, now we return response as JSON file uploaded successfully. Now let me uh, try this. file uploaded successfully this logo.png should be uploaded okay we go to the public images logo.png let me delete yeah image image images folder inside the public folder is empty now okay if I run this uh, route again if I call this route again file uploaded successfully and this has uploaded so see you 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 uh, let me check inside the folder to confirm the compression laurel pusher uh, where is the public public images this is logo.png the size is 3.4 kb this is the file which we uh, is not com not not com uh, compressed okay but if we try another file let me this is 2.9 mb if i try this this file should be uh what you said should be compressed file uploaded successfully if I check here yeah this is the file uploaded okay let me check the size now properties this says yeah 349.1 kb okay if you check yeah, the quality is not too bad okay yeah I, now i need to do upload it and now i want to remove this files how we do this when we click the remove uh when we click this uh where is that load two when we click the remove button 
what we do we call this API we call this API and instead of upload we write remove and instead of FD we this that we call we 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 give the this this file dot ne okay logo open upload file uploaded successfully inside the, the the images here if it's already exist it will replace the file okay so just click remove file uploaded successfully remove remove is not working now because we uh, we have not uh, created this remove function right here okay uh, again we check we check if file exists then what we do Let me copy this. The whole thing here. If the file exists, uh, then we get the path. This is the path. For example, images slash logo dot png here images slash logo dot png if this if this file exists then we unlink this is a php function uh, which unlink it means remove the file from the uh, folder now we try Upload it and then we check logo is here and then click remove. It will not remove. Why? Return high server remove file high is cold no we don't we we don't we don't want to check this because we don't send the file we just send the name name of the file from here we just send you see here this dot file dot name we just send the name and we remove by name only okay remove then check mm, where is public quest dot name let me check now scroll with this Oh, it's not returning anything. It is an object. Hmm. 
and then oh, there's this. We upload logo.png and then upload it successfully and then we remove logo.png is returned from the controller let me just nothing It's removed logo.png removed then we now we remove this file as well okay we just need to upload it first then once we get the name then we can we can we can remove that file uploaded no Load the file, load it successfully, and then we remove. Nothing returned. Public images, images empty now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked this video and helped you to learn something please sub subscribe to this channel and i will make more videos and tutorials like tutorials like this thank you bye